All right, first question. The coolest reality show would be eight rich people fight in weekly challenge to see who's the best at giving money. Money to me? Because I was going to say, <laughs> nice. it's to you. Money to you. <laughs> Twelve experts on the various arts of seduction live in a house where they must face a common challenge, seducing a potato into marriage somehow. I think it'd be easy. People, how? <laughs> it's inanimate. <laughs> it does, you just say, I guess it Do can't just, consent. Well, yeah, you just lie about what the potato, the potato season six, Monday, January 9th, <laughs> 4th, that's the ad in the corner. People in positions of power must face all sorts of questions relevant to their field, and if they fail, they lose their jobs, and society wins. I'm gonna get money. Oh. Uh. That, that last one's really fucking mean. They lose their job, <laughs> and society wins. Um. Uh, I, I don't have any, I don't have any, uh, I don't know what my motive is yet, but I'll do the like potato. What character do you want? Yeah. You guys want to declare characters? Nah, I'm just going to see what, where the dice roll. Yeah, I think it's I was trying to go way. for, I haven't gone for Scott since the go beginning, so I'm going to go after Scott. Oh, okay. Werewolf? I miss Scott uh, dialogue. I was trying to go for Valerie. But I might not be able to. I have no idea who she is. She's very difficult. I've noticed I that if, I, if I don't personally go after Scott, we just don't get Scott for most of the entire session, and he's really funny. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go after Scott as well. Fuck That'll you. Kill you. Oh, I'm gonna, shit. oh fuck. <laughs> I'm gonna go for no, the I'm potato because I really like dating shows, and I watched Flavor Flavor of Love and Rock of Love and Daisy of Love, and I've watched all of what? them. And I love New York Daisy and love. Chance at Love. Dude, they're all spin-offs of each other, and it's fucking insane. You're making these up, right? No, wow. they're all real, I promise. All right, Bird. <laughs> um, I want to... I want to go for the money thing, because I want to buy shit from the shop that isn't, like, just the regular stat update grades. I want yeah. to, like, see what the other things are. So yeah, like let's cocaine. go with the money one. Is cocaine really something you could buy? Yeah. That's what I was yeah. thinking about. Keith's always thinking about that. Maybe I will get that. some cocaine. <laughs> maybe, um, maybe I will get drunk. Maybe I will get some cocaine. Colonel's off the rails yeah. today. <laughs> the uh, I'm really going to get back onto them. Them. <laughs> They're powdered. Let's seduce a potato into marriage somehow. Die, potato. Just ask, no. just ask nicely. Like, potato. I love Which you. god do you oh, pray to each night before sleeping? Reference in 2022. They still make them. I know. <laughs> they make one every year. That's the thing. I actually <laughs> forgot that was even. Yeah. I, w I liked Tom Ska before as if. Yeah. <laughs> Ow. I've been on YouTube for 30 years. <laughs> uh, I guess so. Damn. Which, which god do you pray to each night before sleeping? Praying is kind of lame. I have a group text set up with some deities Dionysus, Bastet, Loki, coolest cats in town. None of those are cats. Bastet's a cat. Shit. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> and Loki can shapeshift, and Dionysus is just a horny teenager. Drunk. Uh, yeah. Oh, I prayed all kinds of gods. I have this business where people pay me to deliver their prayers each night. I've started to look for a Chinese factory to outsource Oh prayers. no! They, they wow. steal the prayers from Chinese children. Praying is for fools. I took compromising pics of a god molesting a tree, and now I blackmail him for whatever I want. A lot more effective money. I'm trying to think. D Diana is the one that turned. Someone turns into a tree because they're trying to get away from. Oh, it's like Laurel, I think. I think that's why the Laurel tree is called the Laurel because it's trying to get she away. on our laurels. It's trying to get away from a god mm. and ran. And like, some other goddess was like, "I'll help you. I'll turn you into a tree, so you don't have to deal with this man anymore." Fair. Um, I'll what do a, the I'll do the first one. What a depressing deal. Because that's probably what I would say. I'm gonna go for money again. I'm gonna go for praying is kind of lame. Wow, we're edgy. Just, we're just two. Yeah. We're, just, we're just one to one matching in pairs, with an double an option each time. Yeah. The world one tomorrow. What will you do today? I always party as if there was no tomorrow, so who cares? It's okay, we invented the apocalypse to take care of the overpopulation of commoners. Oh my god. <laughs> they always tell you the world is ending. I'll profit from other people's hysteria. Nobody ends the world but me. I'll end the world and I'll end the world today. 100 push-ups. No, no, 200 push-ups. <laughs> That's so lame. <laughs> I'll finish my novel. Whoever comes after the end should know my legacy. Uh, Polly, Miranda, Vera, Damien, Demian, <laughs> Demon, uh, Scott, nice. and uh, Vamp Liam. Boy. Liam. Yep. <laughs> um, 
I uh fuck. I I don't want I don't want demon guy, but that's what I would have said. Um I'll finish my novel cuz Oh, Liam. Uh no, I Liam. think I'll do um <clears throat> I always party as if there were no tomorrow. So who cares? What? Is he even even like took up the voice a little bit? I, I, it's foreshadowing. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's, um, he's a shadow man, and she's uh, a ghost. Oh, so that's very... kind of a beautiful pair. <laughs> I have uh, a lot of charming. That's why I the don't word know. is transparent. Ah, uh -huh. kill me. Uh, the, <laughs> let's go with it. Okay. <laughs> they always tell you the world is ending. I'll profit on other people's hysteria. Hysteria. Let's go with that. Yeah. Always Vera. Someone always goes after Vera every match. Vera's hot. She's number one rejector. <laughs> um, She's she, probably she the most difficult character, I think. Nine. I bet my stats are good. Fucking it still garbage. ten. Because I bet I just only have money. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Didn't even take All me right. to ten. That's a bummer. I thought I'd get to ten as well. Colonel yeah. well, and I are trying to fuck. <laughs> yeah, we gotta we gotta take turns to get to <laughs> in the library to get to ten money. That day you spent some Ooh, time on the library's PCs playing some good old online poker. Gambling seems like a stupid and dangerous decision, but who cares? This time it paid off, so fuck it. You gained two money. That is the nuclear throne fish. Nearby you can see Scott with the wolf pack talking. You're not supposed to talk in here. Scott, Scott, we have the greatest power drink to date. Uh, check this out, bro. Oh, I love power drinks. But wait, this new cutting edge sports supplement is like no other before. There's no need to mix it with a beverage. You can just consume it using only your nose. No! Uh, <laughs> it's no. Called, wow, it's a thing I was just talking about. <laughs> it's called cocaine. Co yeah, cocaine. <laughs> Whoa, that totally doesn't sound like your regular power drink. Which definitely means it's cutting edge, just like you said. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like 50% energy drink, 50% protein powder, and 100% raw power. God, God damn it with these crazy pranks. But before you can do anything, Scott has snorted oh, all no. the Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> and he's gone full wolf, wolf mode, and now he's basically unleashed and is destroying everything he sees. You need to do something to calm him down, but what? Use your vast knowledge of, of ar aromatherapy, giving him some lavender-scented cocaine to neutralize the regular <laughs> scented cocaine and relax him a bit. Give him a flashy fidget spinner. So fun Ooh. and smart, I hope. No! I'm off to oh. a good start. Lucky for you, you always carry some lavender-scented cocaine with you for these very specific <laughs> situations. No one can say you're unprepared. Since Wolf Scott seems to be everything but responsive, you just throw a cloud of the coke at his head and hope for the best. <laughs> he sniffs it and gets even crazier. No fucking kidding. I mean, what did you expect? It was more cocaine in the end. It it it, it is as Shakespeare once wistfully said, "What's an ascent? That which we call cocaine by any other scent would still be as cocaine-ish." You should study your English classics more. For you, you lose two smarts and one fun. Oh, I'm already oh, fucked. This playthrough's oh, fucked. Wow. I'm already fucked. Have fun, everyone else. <laughs> Have fun, everybody else. Destroyed. Don't give up. Don't give up. It's it's. You're Scott. going for Scott. He literally can't reject you. <laughs> I'll find a way at this rate. I think he did once. I can kill him with cocaine. Can. Apparently, we'll see how that goes. How do I get to be more mm. bold? You go to the bathrooms, obviously. <laughs> You uh, poop away your cowardice. <laughs> <laughs> is that how that works? Yeah. Uh, I, don't know, I don't know who I want to go after. Bold is bold demon guy because I don't want that one. Uh, I mean, I think most characters probably care about like two stats. Mm. Uh, yeah. Boldness might be demon and Polly. Oh, I think fun, fun and charm. I thought would be Polly. But maybe boldness yeah. might be Polly. Maybe. Um, if let's... you're going for Liam, then that would be smarts. Which Liam would be is your class. tanked creativity. I guess I'll try Liam. Sure, whatever. <laughs> he probably wants creativity and you're at two. Oh, yeah, so you've oh, got a way oh, to go. That, yeah, how do I get more creative? The auditorium. Green's not a creative color. Okay. If you succeed at your checks, I nice. think you can do pretty much anything. Especially yeah. because you're not going to go with the money. You can buy the 
the stats. You might want to spend your money on creativity, given your starting stat. Yeah. Well, well, let's get some creativity from my from the play, and then I'll I'll they'll just I'll just waste my money because I don't I'm not going after Vera this time. That day, while rehearsing for the class play, it's as though muses themselves descended to give you a figurative oral sex. Yes. I said A on roof, or just out of habit. That was very <laughs> odd. <laughs> well, they don't. Say, they often say if, they, if if you're a dude, they say a figurative blowjob. Uh, Your performance is intense and inspiring. If remembered for generations, which is pretty rad for high school play standards, you gain two creativity. About time. But Liam isn't paying attention to any of that. He corners you afterwards to lecture you on mom on momentgram filters. Uh, <clears throat> what? No one seems to understand about filters is that they're not making pictures better. They're about making pictures browner and harder to see. <laughs> making them crunchy, <laughs> crunchy memes or deep fried memes. No. E. Crunchy memes. <laughs> That's why crunchy, I use my crunchy memes. I you know, I can respect that, Leo. <laughs> Saltine memes. That's why I use my own proprietary filter for almost all my photos. Infinite taupe. It's also probably why I only I have only six moment gram followers, but we must all make sacrifices for our art. In any case, I have to go. There's a dead rat in the parking lot. I simply must document. Oh no. As soon as Liam's gone, Miranda peeks out from an air conditioning duct. Goodness, the situation is even more dire than I thought. If Operation Make Liam Popular Again is to succeed, we must get started immediately. What's that? Why yes, of course you're part of my operation. I unwillingly force people into my, into my service all the time. Oh, you want to know why it's called Operation Make Liam Popular Again? Well, <clears throat> he's been alive for like centuries, right? I'm sure he must have been popular at some point. I'll check the history books later. There's no time now. Phase one is getting Liam more moment gram followers. I took the liberty of having my royal spies discover the password to his account so we can give it a total makeover. But what to do? Use his account to post a bunch of porn and bomb recipes. <laughs> Pay a million homeless people oh, to no. follow Liam on Moment Graham. They're both, they're both, it's boldness and money, and I'm at five at both. Ooh. <clears throat> um, Ooh. We'll do it the, sounds like it, yeah. I will do the first one. The one that's in your heart. Yeah, that is the one that's more in my heart. So fun. Oh, yeah. oh. What It's is... still five past it. <laughs> I'm, yeah. I think I just got a good lucky dice roll or something. What Maybe. is porn? Never mind. Uh. If you suggested it, it must be something very classy and suitable. Uh -huh. I shall put you in charge of curation. Porn away, comrade. It's, it's all hentai. Porn away, comrade. Wow, I've always wanted to hear somebody say that. He turned Liam's account into Moment Graham's number one resource for weird dicks and domestic terrorism. Shockingly, huh. this turns out fine. Yeah. Huh. There you are. I wanted to share the great news. I'm Moment Graham infamous. Apparently, my filter game was so edgy that the backwards administration decided to close my account. But not before I amassed over three million followers. They're all following me to my new website, hotliampix.com. Of course, I'm utterly devastated that my work has finally become mainstream. Yes, this is the worst, and I am not at all happy or excited about it. Anyway, I have to go take pictures of my lunch. My fans are waiting. You're not sure they're waiting for what Liam thinks they're waiting for, but whatever works, right? You gain two creativity and one charm. Oh, they're, just like a, they're just like a baloney sandwich, and they're like, this is a weird dick. <laughs> <laughs> it's Bad brown, at least, though. There you go. Alright, what are my <laughs> stats? Cause, they're cause pretty, pretty shit. Uh, so we need to do fun. Your stats are so shit, they look like Liam's Instagram. That Bam. day during recess, you oh, start a half of hour. Brown. Yeah, got it. Yeah, <laughs> they start a half hour rave that goes full crazy. I have no idea how it escalates so much, but at one point there's like 300 people. Someone dumps de summons demons from a nightmare dimension. The consequences might distort the fabric of reality itself, but who cares? It's a rad party. Too fun. Hey, boo. Hey, bird, darling. It's me, lovely fan favorite Polly. You know, I wasn't always a ghost. Yeah, yeah, this is about to get real. Hear me out. I used to be alive. Okay. <laughs> <so> shocking. <laughs> I used to be al I used to be alive, but I died with unfinished business. 
Now I gotta live forever like this until I finish it. And you might ask, what's your favorite... What? what? <laughs> <laughs> you did it. I, what's your unfinished you... business fan favorite, lovely Polly? I guess I can tell you. I... Never oh did a my god! <laughs> Here we go! It's so good that you All have right. so much money! Yeah, it's you weird can, how I planned this. You can I mean, succeed. Plan you can succeed where Brian <laughs> failed. It's really Ooh. fucking weird that you got the high price poly thing and I got cocaine plot right when I mentioned cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> I never did a reverse Romanian milk and son. What the fuck is that? <laughs> you know, what? sexual. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Sigh. Don't get me wrong, I love being immortal and walking through walls and shit. But my soul will never truly rest until I do that freaky sex move. Oh, well. I've done that one loads of times. Just name a time and place and I'll reverse all over your remaining Wilkinson. <laughs> 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 Throw a smoke bomb and escape while leaving a replica of yourself. That should buy you time to figure out what a reverse remaining Wilkinson is. Um, don't fuck it up. Don't, yep. I don't know. I think the first I one's do. charm. You're, you're flirting. You're, lying. you're like winking while doing saying this. I imagine. Yeah, the first one is probably charm. The second one is smarts. I don't know, but like or my boldness. stats suck all around, so I feel like I really can't go wrong. I think last time we talked doable. about this, we were like, it's probably not. I think the argument was that it wasn't boldness because it's, it's literally running away. <laughs> but it's smoke bomb. Yeah. I feel so like I think that's it's automatic like smarts boldness. or something. Yeah, um, it's either, yeah, it could be creativity or smarts, and that's a big problem for you. Which one it is? Yeah, it's true. Yeah, uh, we're gonna we're gonna go for it. Throw the smoke bomb and escape. Ooh. Not creative. Ah. Ah. You throw the smoke bomb. You save for these situations. You swiftly hide, leaving behind an exact replica of, your, of yourself made out of macaroni and play-doh. Whoa, <laughs> bird! I don't know if it's just me. Or all this smoke I'm inhaling, but you suddenly seem more attractive. <laughs> you know what? Fuck the reverse Romanian Wilkinson. Let's go to Funky Town together right now. <laughs> and just like that, Polly grabs your replica and flees to have what, what seems like great sex. As she leaves, you're sure you see a sneaky little macaroni smile on the replica. I imagine it looks like the Hey Arnold, like, <laughs> bubblegum no! bust. No! <laughs> no. <laughs> no, not again. Bested by your replica made of macaroni. You should stop <laughs> using again. it. It always ends up having all the fun. Your macaroni replica gains a lot of stats and fun and unforgettable experiences, but you lose two fun and one smarts. Let's go. We're both out to a oh, great start, no. bird, with our money well, scheme. Okay, so that probably closed out that entire quest. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Have fun, guys. Oh uh, boy, let's uh, make money because I need it for Vera. You can. Otherwise, ah, oh, dang it. Okay, my smarts then. It's easy. Well, that day you listen to your elders well. and learn valuable lessons. Sometimes after the monster nonsense and dating gimmicks, you forget that attending class is supposed to be the primary activity at this school. Oh yeah, I forget. You gain two smarts. Without warning, Vera pulls you aside and hisses in your ear. Oh my god. The stalker is back. You follow her pointy finger and see a guy dressed in a white toga and winged sandals facing away from you. He looks like a creep. He's been following me everywhere. He thinks I don't notice him checking me out in that mirrored shield he has, but I totally do. Oh, it's fucking that. Well, who is, is that? Perseus? That's the. That's the fucking. Oh, because Medusa. The right? guy, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's that whole movie's <laughs> about him, and he gets the, sh the, the mirrored shield to defeat Medusa. Is it Odysseus? Because the Odyssey. No, it's, it's not. It's not the Odyssey. It's not oh. Odysseus. I think it's. I think it's Perseus. Jason and the Argonauts. <laughs> not that one. <laughs> Stop motion skeletons? It's such Not a that one either. Chore. It's such a chore being this beautiful all the time. How am I ever going to get rid of him? Threaten to feed a damsel to a sea monster. That'll distract him. Yeah. He looks Greek. Watch bribe Zeus, king of the gods. So I can tell you which one's money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The one that says bribe in it. Uh, threaten no, to you have feed. to pay the damsel a wage. No, you don't. <laughs> so I, a damsel's not going to pay shit. <laughs> I'm afraid that it's either boldness or fun. It could be it's... charm, the top one. But I'm going to go with the second I one. I would never Money. guess that one of these was fun. I think the top one's... Uh, I think that's uh, boldness. It might, it might be boldness. I think you're. you're yeah, I think yeah. anything murdery oh. is boldness. Mm -hmm. 
I'm getting away in a second. You buy a bunch of wine and hookers and burn them on a golden <laughs> altar to Zeus. The clouds glow with unearthly light. Thunder booms. A, vol a bolt of lightning crackles and strikes Vera's stalker. Ow! He screams. Fuck you, Dad. <laughs> I wish you'd never <laughs> turned into gold dust and pissed on my <laughs> and pissed on my mom. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking Greek <laughs> gods. <Fuck>. Zeus. <laughs> what a creepy fucker. Something wrong with these guys. Badly singed, the stalker limps away, shaking his fist at the at the sky. That has been quite pleasing. Hey, that was cool. Thanks. The ancient Greeks sure seem to have some odd ideas about how babies are made. <laughs> <laughs> like the one that's born out of someone's forehead. You gain two fun and one smarts. He fucks a he like he turns into a goose and fucks someone in one of them. Everybody choose a brand. Uh... I. Dude, I don't really- Rolex. I don't- Everybody choose Rolex. a brand. Crocs. <laughs> clothing. Oh. Oh yeah, you could do- I didn't even think about- do, No, I was thinking clothing yeah. immediately. Pokemon. Oh, fuck. The Wild dog. card option. Does Pokemon, Gatorade, Crocs, and Rolex? Mm -hmm. Yep. I did it! Claire was yeah. based on how normal it would be to see- uh, to- It'd be to name your first <laughs> child after the selected brand. <laughs> Gatorade, Pokemon, okay. Crocs, and Rolex. Crocs, wow. I think we... <laughs> they all kind of tie for equally weird. It's not great. Well, yeah. No, Pokemon's no, Pokemon is the weird options. You but can... uh, no, but the brand is Pokemon. But can you name one like yeah. no, Jigglypuff? The, brand, the like... brand is Pokemon. <laughs> it just says name yeah. after this brand. I'm gonna I name my Pokemon baby Garbodor. Croc, Crocs Mackenzie. <laughs> dude, that is, is, cool that is some rapper's Cro kid's Crocs name. Crocs someone's name. Dude, that's a rapper yeah, yeah. kid's name. Yeah. Rolex McGee is like some rapper. Rolex is definitely Gatorade somebody's name Gatorade and Pokemon are well. both fucked. It's definitely Stephanie and Colonel first. I think it's I, more yeah, likely so. that, that Rolex would get a, a shout out from some blinged out like guy with yeah. like <laughs> spent three racks on a new chain. Rolex William Jr. come right Pokemon here right now. Pokemon Gatorade. <laughs> <laughs> are, there, are there more nerds or are there more sports fans? <laughs> I think Gatorade I imagine might more, slightly edge out Pokemon. I imagine that more people in real life are named Pokemon than Gatorade. I don't think there's. I would love to see the stats on this. <laughs> How do you uh, look it up? Name, first name stats. Okay. Okay. Nothing, it's gonna be zero for either of them, but I could be wrong. You, how where are you looking at this at the, this data? Oh, I'm, I'm using Google.com. It, it's, oh. it's 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 the census. <laughs> well, how do you get it, Pokemon? All right, Pokemon. Hey, dude, Pokemane is Let's a person. See. Uh, yeah, no, no matches or no results for Pokemon. What if your last name okay. was a fruit? It'd be and... infuriating because it sounded back. It sounded backwards. Well, no, no Gatorade's no names never flavored Gatorade after actual either. fruit. It's, it's, like, it's flavored like, after like sweat. Oh yeah. Sweat. So no... <laughs> <laughs> it's it's no... flavored after. Sweat. The yellow one tastes like sweat. It's actually my favorite for that reason. <laughs> it just tastes like gym socks. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll skip to Gatorade. I think Colonel should have won. Oh, Jesus Christ. Mm, Colonel mm, Rolex nah. over, over Crocs? Yeah, dude, because Rolex Crocs is, is a, high end, right? I, don't I think Crocs, Crocs, just, yeah, Crocs works as a name. As a name, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's whatever. I, I, respe I, I respect I, the I Rolex. I think I sealed it when I said Crocs McKenzie. <laughs> yeah, that's just Rolex McKenzie's also. That's, a, my, that's yeah. my new OC. You can't have him. <laughs> Crocs McKenzie. Yeah. I hope he's a real Crocs first. Um. I don't know who I'm trying to fuck this time. Um, I think. Uh, Wasn't it Liam? I'll go. I'll do that one because I don't want to cock block anyone else. Go for. Wait, wait, who's that angry guy in the middle? That's the that's the the wolf like football team. What, what do I get from dealing with him? A scene. Scene. Usually it usually gives you stat bonuses or an item or something. Mm. If you don't yeah. go to one of the data. It's usually pretty good. I'll I'll try it. All right. You want it? Yeah. Let's do it. You're about to dig into a delicious bowl of beef jerky. <laughs> I hate it. Uh -oh. when, you, when you see the wolf pack across the, ta the table, pan uh, panting at you. Hey, what's up, 
Yo, dog, can you have can, you, can we have some of that beefy J you got there? Oh, we, no. love, we, we love meats that have been jerked. Oh, I'm sure you do. Oh, no. Come on, we'll totally trade you anything from our lunch. You can have this dead ferret or this half-chewed telephone receiver or... While, while, one of, while one of them is talking, the other is just straight up eat your beef oh, jerky. You hit their Aww. noses with a newspaper, but it's too late. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops, guess we got a trade after all, huh? Which one of our foods do you want, Doc? How about this black plastic bottle labeled Seriously Don't Drink This, It's Poison? Nothing, give me my brief jerky back now. <laughs> I mean, I don't think that's gonna... Ooh. It'll uh, just cut it out of their guts. I have follow-up questions of what that could even mean. I think you slice their guts open. Oh no, and then you fill it with stones throw them into the lake. I don't think I'm- I'm not bold enough for that second option. I don't know what the first one would no, be. No, 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 no. These aren't stat checks. Oh. No, there's no- there's no stat checks in the lunch- in the lunch table. You're either picking, uh, someone to date better, like getting a heart from them, mm -hmm. or in these situations you're actually picking an option. Um, I'll- I'll take the poison. <laughs> Oh, is that what it says? We found it in a garbage bin with a skull and crossbones on it. Bones are good to eat, so we took it. <laughs> that's very misleading for a dog. If that's the only thing you want, I guess you can have it. You know, you don't give them time to change their minds. You reach across the table, snatch, and chug. I wanted to use it on someone else. <laughs> oh, okay. Is wait. that an Olympic event? The snatch and chug? <laughs> the snatch and chug. That sounds right awful. It's right after curling. <laughs> <laughs> On the TV news that night, you learned that after drinking the elixir, you went on a bit of a rampage. Specifically, you declared the cafeteria a sovereign state and abolished all laws except uh. for party forever. Your government was soon overthrown by the National Guard, but you've been nominated for the Nobel mm. Prize for partying and you gained four fun. Fuck yeah. Unfortunately, Ian doesn't give a fuck about that stat. Nah, but I'm, I just like knowing that I'm fun, I guess. Yeah. That's cool. Colonel. I'm gonna go for Vera. Vera. Mm-hmm. You approach Liam and Vera's table to find them thoughtfully tasting several glasses of wine. The school has literally no rules, apparently. <laughs> ah, wine. That most exclusive of beverages. Even a vampire such as myself cannot resist its class and allure. Do you know a lot about wine, then? I'm having dinner with the King of France next week, and I could use some pointers. France doesn't have a king anymore. That media wants you to think. So do you know about wine or not? Alas, in my centuries of living, I have only learned how to look good holding wine, not how to evaluate it. All I know is that I'm not drinking another glass of that one. Vera points at a bottle with Polly's toilet wine written <laughs> on it in permanent marker. <laughs> She's making Pruno. I'll drink it. I'll be a simp for Polly. <laughs> <laughs> that is very simpish. <laughs> what I wouldn't give for an experienced sommelier to help us judge which wine is best. You know nothing about wine, but you're pretty sure most sommeliers just make stuff up they anyway. They fucking do. You suavely <laughs> recommend. Do. Try the sangria, it pairs well with seafood and blood. The tannins in this robust Malbec are an elegant way to mask the taste of poison. Perfect for diplomatic missions. Poison again. I'm gonna go with the second one, because yeah. it's Vera. That's the Vera one for sure. Mm -hmm. Why would you want to disguise the taste of... Oh. You're going to poison someone. Of course you are. You're always poisoning people. Quiet. No, I'm not. People in no way directly associated with me are always poisoning people. And soon they will strike again. France has suffered under its unjust king for too long. Plus, he called me fat at a party once when I was 11. You didn't call little I mean, kids fair. fat. <laughs> fair. That's... Yeah. Who is this king you keep talking about? I'm telling you, France doesn't have a king anymore. Soon, Liam. Soon. <laughs> <laughs> Vera's so thankful to you for solving her assassination problem, she lets you braid her snacks. Her oh, snacks. snacks. Not snacks. Her snakes, her snakes. Oh, oh wait, hang on a second. Like, a how do you braid Doritos? Uh, you do fr uh, fruit by the foot. Yeah. You can braid, braid fruit by the foot. <laughs> she lets you braid her snakes. You get it bit a few times, but it's so, so worth it. So two of us are poisoned so far. All right. I, was, I did by choice. And one All of right, us made a cocaine cloud. Her snakes aren't poisonous. Listen, bird, you can totally sit with us. I just hope you didn't bring a gun or two a bazooka fight. 
Yeah, we're showing off our best flasks. Well, not the best flask exactly, but the best contents. The best flask is just the biggest flask. Yeah. Yeah. Good God, are literal, actual flasks of alcohol openly allowed in the school, in the school cafeteria? Are there no rules? We've, got, we've been over this. <laughs> Apparently not, because Polly uh, starts setting a series of flasks down on the table. Okay, so this is beer, my <laughs> toilet wine, whiskey, <laughs> ethyl alcohol, the soul of an infant. <laughs> Weak. This is radioactive absinthe. This is fire. And this is literal <laughs> poor life. <pushes. laughs> okay, but this one has a smaller flask inside. It is the ultimate flask. If I had the control, I would have spelled poor life choices with a U. <laughs> Oh, nice. A poor, uh, that, that's pretty poor cute. Life. That should be the, yeah. the name of bar that, or the, the, the flavor. The brand of your whiskey you're going to yeah, make. So it's, 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 my, it's my micro brew is, my, is poor life choices. I love it. <laughs> you could probably go on like this for goddamn ever. Maybe you can cut in with the craziest thing of all. But think carefully about whom you want to impress with your flask contents. No, I Get don't give a shit about my <laughs> flask contents if I'm Polly's toilet wine. <laughs> just over this. You're like, was Maybe it made someday. in your toilet, Polly? <laughs> Get ready for the most hardcore badass thing. This flask contains an ancient genie that grants you three wishes, but I'm totally drinking it because I don't give a fuck. I grant my own damn wishes. That's stupid. Want to get a dope party started? This flask has ultra whiskey, which you can only get when you get two bottles of the best, purest whiskey and make them mate. <laughs> well, obviously that one. Heck yeah, heck yeah, heck yeah, let's rage. I've always wanted to make ultra whiskey, but I could not get my whiskey bottles to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I tried everything. Mood lighting, ultra music, and pause, you know. All that cliche romantic stuff. This would be nigh impossible to get them to make sweet whiskey love. You're getting really hard to understand for some reason. <laughs> oh. Uh. Were you leaving away? Uh, Maybe. I don't know. But it seemed nigh impossible to get them to make sweet whiskey love. I just wanted to hear you say sweet whiskey <laughs> love again. <laughs> I almost started to think inanimate objects can't have sex. But I've had lots of sex with inanimate objects, so that was just silly. <laughs> I honestly, Polly's pretty fucking great. <laughs> if you can make whiskey x wix, uh, ah, if you can Say make whiskey times. x whiskey turn into ultra whiskey, then we should definitely apply that principle all over the damn place. Two cars to make a limousine, an orgy of Y phones to become the uh, Y phone triple X. The most advanced update possible, duh. A microwave and a Russian novel to get a pair of designer shoes. What? <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> wait to create doper stuff than the world can even handle. Probably. Well, the world probably doesn't need to worry about handling it because there's no way you can pull that insanity off. But yay for plans with Polly. Um, <laughs> sure. Um, sure. As you approach Scott and Miranda's table, you see that the entire table's covered in exotic silverware. Oh, what's this one for? That's the forking spoon. What? It's a spoon for picking up your forks so that you don't have to touch them with your fingers. Mm. <laughs> and that one? That's the tuning fork. It's for making sure all your other silverware is tuned to A minor as is proper. What about this one? That's the dairy knife. It's for milk. <laughs> um, <laughs> wow. Do people ever invent new silverwares? I just did. All the time, but none of them are any good. It would take a genius of true subtlety to improve on the existing canon. <laughs> a genius of true subtlety. Genius and subtlety are your middle fucking names. You suggest the ultimate new silverware. A salad heart. Hands. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder which one's for who. <laughs> My favorite silverware. Ye gods, how crude. I know, right? <laughs> My only more favorite are silverwares are face and mouth. Scott, I think you're misunderstanding the purpose of silverware. No, I don't think so. Look. 
Scott reaches into his backpack and pulls out pulls out two silver hands, a silver face and a silver mouth. Um, <laughs> he holds the hands in his hands and the face in his mouth and devours his lunch in a highly counterintuitive way. Huh. I stand corrected. I have so many questions. I don't know what that looks like. <laughs> You're not standing. You're sitting. Anyway, now I gotta put on some ointment. Oh, that silver is really bad for my skin. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> Scott lets you put the ointment oh, on him. Cute. Nice. I like that. Bounce with, bow. with your tongue. Player is decided based on your ability to mimic the noise the giraffe makes. What does a giraffe sound like? No. They sound pretty bad. Okay, okay, we have to make fuck? guesses. <laughs> and, then we look, and then we look up uh, on, on YouTube the sound of giraffe makes. What the fuck does a giraffe sound like? I'm so trying to I'm gonna say, those Log Brothers videos. I'm gonna say it's a cross between a sheep and a cow in like a be eh, 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 sound. I'm gonna Boy. go with the. I'm gonna go with the. <laughs> like a horn? Like they're like, Arrgh. <laughs> Anyway. Um, anyway. I, I know what a giraffe actually sounds like, so I probably Fuck shouldn't you. go. Because <laughs> I don't want to give you the answer. Uh. Oh, I've heard it. I looked it up on YouTube and I know what it sounds like. <laughs> I can't like relax. <laughs> <laughs> do you really know, Bird? I do really know. <laughs> okay, okay, so you're probably gonna win, but Bird, keep, uh, here you go. The caribou or something, I don't know. I, I can give you a clue. It doesn't sound like at all like what a turtle sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, thanks. <laughs> That's the best clue. Wow. That's the best clue. <laughs> I'll just chart out all the sounds and I'll pick the one that's the farthest away from the turtle sound. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I'm the worst at calming down. <laughs> it's not calming down. So it's, a, it's basically a... that. <laughs> I win. Cool. It's it's basically like like that, but like almost you're making that noise and you're choking on food at the same time. Yeah. So it's kind of more like. It's <laughs> 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 like chat really vote. bad. Ch chat vote quickly. I think I lose. Shout names. Uh, well, I, well, I, I think Bird wins automatically because he already knew what sound it was. That doesn't mean he did a good job. <laughs> yeah. No, I, 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 I'm listening to it on YouTube, and it, Keith sounds closer to what Bird is describing. In fact, I would say Stephanie's sound closer to... Uh, <laughs> what? what was Stephanie's? Just... <laughs> <laughs> Make the sounds again. I don't know again. if I could ever do it. <laughs> I don't... It's, it was like a kind of like a... Like a I don't. I don't know if I can replicate it. Like I don't know where that was horn. in my brain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That that sounds that sounds cool. I, I, I think. Okay, saying the same, uh, so one person I'm... saying bird multiple times doesn't count as more votes. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Well, I lose either way, so I'm tied with bird so far. <laughs> my chat is voting you. Oh, I guess cool. maybe I just heard a giraffe that was actually choking, or you. Did a <laughs> <impression>. <laughs> maybe maybe it was a turtle. Yeah. All right, it's staying too. Okay. All right, well, let's do Keith Bird and Bird. then uh, Keith Bird, Stephanie yeah. Colonel. <laughs> Colonel had the best. Well, we sure though. had to live through that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna buy Coke now. Hey, stranger. Hey, why do you study and prepare for your future when you can come here and buy some weird shit instead, am I right? Coke. Good old cocaine. In these times of weird experimental substances with horrible side effects, cocaine has become the new vanilla of drugs. Oh, kind of. Wow! Hey, look, I can take this. <laughs> Please. It's a regular flavor. If you do that, flavor. you can go straight to hell. <laughs> my sports <laughs> went to negative two! Wow. Uh, wow. <laughs> wow. And you. <sighs> I yeah, thought it was the safe. opposite effect. 
Who would want to save money for their college fund when you can spend it on weird stuff that's mostly useless? That's the spirit champ. Two things went up and one thing went down, but I could it, it didn't spell it out. It was fast and I didn't see it. Uh, yeah. I, I guess the I gotta go to the library. To get your last doll. Or... I hope so. <laughs> that day you spent some time in the library PC is Googling how the fuck to make <laughs> giraffe noises. You went through all the <laughs> most viewed videos on the Vlogbrothers channel, but it didn't seem to help. Something ah. about cryptocurrency. It actually, uh, no, uh, no. But you can guess that nobody actually has any fucking clue what, what, how it really works. Anyway, you gained two bitcoins, which equaled two billion dollars, which is actually two monster dollars, so two money. <laughs> That's funny. Soda's really expensive in this universe. Jeez. Later, you see Polly floating around. Her ghastly, her ghostly glow less ghastly than usual. Hey, they said ghastly anyway. Oh, hey, bird. I'm just hovering a little low today. Everyone seems so hyped about love, and I love being hyped. But I'm not really sure how this love thing works, you know? I thought I was in <laughs> love once. I met a beautiful girl at a party and felt the strange magic. My temperature rose. I felt even floatier than usual. Everything was so bright and beautiful. I was ecstatic. It's on Molly. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> then I remembered I had taken literal ecstasy, so it's probably just that. Classic mistake, am I right? I've had some pretty good highs, but they say being in love is the greatest high of all. The next time I'm on a date with someone, what can I do to fall in love? Or float in love since gravity doesn't actually affect me. Oh, you don't want Polly to float in love with another person. But you like Polly just too much to not help her, despite the consequences. Scientifically speaking, people fall in love faster when afraid. <laughs> Do something fun with them, like getting stabbed. Stare deeply into their eyes for 14 hours. That's... Mm. Here, here's cocaine, it'll help. <laughs> well, the, the first cocaine one... will help with the first one. Not yeah, as much the, the first one, one, I can't tell if that's fun or boldness. It says the word fun in it, but Ooh. that could just be a lie. It says fun, but also says stabbed. Yeah. The second one stared deeply in their eyes for 14 hours. I don't know if that's charm or boldness or what. My stats are all fucking terrible, so I don't even know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> really, probably doesn't matter. Oh. Um, stabbed is usually let's... boldness, I feel like. I don't know. I think the first one's probably yeah. boldness. I think the second one's probably charm. Stabbing's extreme. Yeah. It's definitely not fun. <laughs> the second one's definitely right. not fun. Let's go with... Uh, Stabbing them. So smart. Ooh, why? Oh. why? <laughs> what? Oh, because it's something about science. It was scientifically speaking, so it was smart. Oh my gosh, I don't think that's uh, accurate. Yes, that's that. <laughs> this game is fucking nonsense sometimes. <laughs> oh, M G. Great point. I love science. I mean, I don't, but I love it when it gets me drugs or gets me laid. Loved, not laid, loved, in love. What? <laughs> With that, she has Polly a going disappears, down animation? literally, no. to begin her quest does. for the terror that is love. <laughs> she catches up to you a few days later. Hi. So I went on a date the other night with this super cute demonoid. I took him to a getting stabbed party, just like we suggested. <laughs> Where are these? It was awesome. He was so terrified. It was like each time a knife entered him, he got more scared. <laughs> <laughs> and more in love with me. <laughs> then the date continued because he bled out and died and became a ghost. So we had even more in common. Like, I'm over it now, obviously. But I'm pretty sure I was in love for like 15 whole minutes. That was worth his death. <laughs> Next time I'm gonna try and work my way up to 25. Just keeps killing people. <laughs> Goals. Pa Polly, in love for 25 minutes? Maybe the next time it'll be with you. Maybe you'll even make it to 50 minutes or eternity. That's a bit of an escalation. That's like what, uh, that's like when you try to graph a limit. <laughs> ah. Either way, you've opened up Polly's heart, metaphorically, to love and gained two charm and one smarts, which is better than all the negatives that I've been having so far. <laughs> Charm and smarts are probably not Polly's stats, though, so that was yeah. completely useless. I mean, I have negative two smarts, but thankfully that's well, probably the least important thing <laughs> for Scott. Uh, let's go get smart. Can't. Oh, fuck. 
Uh, you can't get smart uh, or money. Oh. Uh, oh, I get. I guess stop. I'll get. Should have right. made a better noise. <laughs> <laughs> no, you never could have been smart though, because there was a store there. I never could have been smart, Keith. The store was always in the way. I mean, um, fuck, and I don't. No, this is gonna help me. I, I need smarts and I need creativity, but I did that last time. I guess I could do it again. You just do it again. Yeah, let's do it again. It's easy. I'm really, Still there. I'm really a uh, sad York. I'm a, I'm a drama kid, apparently. Winky frowny face. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is that? That's it, that's it, an illegal. Crying. It, it's crying. Yeah. That's an illegal emoticon. <laughs> that day while rehearsing for the class play, you aren't especially good nor inspired. For once, it seems you aren't getting that classic creativity boost from the auditorium. But afterwards, while talking to your classmates, you're having trouble conveying your point to it in discussion. So you decide to convey it through music. Oh no. You start singing, and suddenly everyone else joins in, in a kick-ass musical number. It's so amazing that the people with whom you were arguing totally get your point and change their minds once the song is over. You gain <laughs> two creativity. And afterwards, Miranda beckons to you <clears throat> from a darkened corner. Psst! Co-conspirator! Over here! Phase one of Operation Make Liam Popular Again was an overwhelming success. Liam is internet popular. Now we just need to make him real life popular. No. And what better way than by making him prom king? Dude, let's pull a carry. <laughs> he likes <laughs> he likes blood. He likes blood. <laughs> Unfortunately, when I asked him to run for prom king, he said, and I quote, "Never, never, never, not in a hundred years." And that's not an exaggeration because I've been alive for hundreds of years and I've never run for prom king. So there you go. I like meatball subs. <laughs> That's her doing my my boy impression. That's my impression of her doing my boy impression. Which was clearly his cryptic way of saying he wants us to make him prom king. My first thought was to murder the current prom king after establishing Liam as his rightful heir, but I couldn't find any bloodline charts to work from. So I suppose we must engage in this democratic election the school is holding, quote, quote, democratic. <laughs> Now, how can we secure a win for Liam when he is opposed to running or making any effort to win? I'll dress up as Liam and give the best campaign speech anyone has ever given. Hey, a million people to vote for Liam for Palm Queen King. <laughs> it's the first one because that's charm and also it would actually work because I would give a great speech. So charming. That's a great idea! You look just like him! <laughs> no, I don't. You squeeze into some skinny um. <laughs> jeans, some suspenders, and a lot of purple paint, which is probably racist, and a sense <laughs> of smug superiority, and gather a crowd in the auditorium. Ladies and gentle monsters, you say. For too long, our school has been ruled by prom kings who care about things. <laughs> Caring about things makes you weak. Because uh -huh. what if you care about the wrong thing? This is such a trope because uh -huh. this always happens yeah. in actual <laughs> movies where you get like a slacker kid that's like, yeah. fuck school! And everyone's like, yeah! <laughs> I, Liam DeLioncourt, will never be wrong because I don't care about anything. Dude, that would win every that's vote. That's awesome. I don't care yeah. about my dumb clothes or my stupid man bun or any of you. <laughs> To be honest, I don't even bun? care if I win. Yeah, he does. I'm not fond of it, to be <laughs> frank. If I don't, I'll just blow up the school with the hydrogen bomb I buried under the cafeteria. Dude, that's like the like the plot of Heathers. <laughs> <laughs> you walk off the stage to thunderous, terrified applause. You don't know whether it was the speech or the threat of extinction, but Liam wins by a landslide. Yes. Ruts and curses. Rumor says I will be elected prom king in spite of my sincerest wishes. How horrible to have the love of the entire student body showered upon me. The cold blackness in my soul, which has so long sheltered me from my true emotions. Gah! It's thawing. This is terrible and I am in no way enjoying it. Blush, blush. Still, I should probably pick out a tuxedo, you know, so as not to appear ungracious. You're happy to help Liam pick out a tuxedo. You even help measure his body. You gain two fun and one Ew. creativity. Ew. Measure his bod. All uh, arts. I can't sneak, get the You sneak up there and cut off the bun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, will, we, yeah. will we be able to get more money eventually? Or is uh, this the last chance? No, it's week one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're not even at the, the the nighttime event yet. This is the first half mm -hmm. of the game. Okay. Uh, so smart's probably good. We're only an hour one, bruh. Uh, let's go to the toilet. 
Maybe. <laughs> I don't like how you said let's like let's all go. Like. Let's all go the toilet. toilet. No, y'all, let's y'all, all go the toilet. toilet. That day you skip class and just hang out in the bathrooms because you respect no authority. I guess some people just want to watch the world burn by skipping class and hanging out in the bathrooms. You give zero shits and gain two boldness. That's a cool picture. That's cute. Afterwards, you discover you've been poisoned, and only Vera has the antidote. She does this all the time. It's how she invites you to hang out. Aww. Hey this sounds familiar. <laughs> there you are. Thank you so much for coming. I'm embarking on a new criminal enterprise, and I need a con oh. conciliar. That uh, conciliar. <laughs> Everyone one. fight. Why does it have a G? I. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, a fr it's a French word. Conciliar. Yeah. It's a Whatever. prank. I thought you were, you were just, <laughs> yeah, I mean, French, French is a prank on language. A little bit. Yeah. Croissant. The idea is simple, yet brilliant. Think <laughs> Uber, ah, classy. but for killing people. I call it murder. <laughs> oh. But it turns out the market is flooded with assassination apps, assassination apps, and blood. I need a way to get ahead of the pack. And since the, you're such a good advisor, Good differentiate emphasis. yourself by being the only service that offers free-range organic murders. Viral marketing. Literally. Tailor a highly contagious virus to make people love murder. I think that one's bold. Okay. It's either bold or smart is the second one. And the other one is creativity, I think. I'm gonna go with the second one. So smart! Yes! You can do that? Great! You can use my private chemical weapons laboratory. Yeah, probably because you're using chemicals. That's probably why it's smarts, maybe. Because you're making, like, mm. a, making a virus. Yeah. Yeah. And so... This is working better than I ever could have imagined. The man for murder has gone for the roof since <laughs> you released that virus. Sure, the side effects include vomiting, bloody tears, male lactation, cobra feet, <laughs> cobra time feet. dilation, <laughs> you know, time dilation, <laughs> rigor mortis, rectal teeth. No! Oh, no! <laughs> no! That's even worse than eating corn. That's worse than cobra feet. Renegade spleen. <laughs> Microaggressions. <laughs> Micro wow. Micro Sudden tattoos. <laughs> this is getting better and better. Hair this trauma. pretty awesome. Liquefication and coughing. Cough yeah, <laughs> coughing is the worst coughing. one, guys. But it's well worth it for the profits I'm raking in. Plus, I'm making a literal killing selling people the antidote for all these side effects. <laughs> it's, not actually an, it's not actually an antidote, though. It's actually just heroin. Same difference. <laughs> you know they used to give heroin to babies as a cough suppressant? Yeah, the real world's exactly as moral as this video game. Mm -hmm. But whatever. You gain two creativity and one, and one money. And Coca yes, money! Uh, Everything was fucking fucked. Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Stephanie? Aww. You get to be the star tonight. Uh, yay. It's, it's, your, it's your event to fuck. <laughs> I will fuck it up. <laughs> On the weekend, you're at a park doing some homework, practicing your best lurking under people's beds poses. This is spooky high school after all. When you're greeted by the sound of plus money waiting to happen. <laughs> Sub motherfucker, get ready for... A dope business idea. Brought to you by Team Best Business People. <laughs> Scott, I told you we're not doing team names. What we're doing is getting ready to recruit investors. We have the greatest improvement. We're going to reinvent the wheel. Except in this case, the wheel is a bucket. We're reinventing the bucket. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Art. So we realized that buckets can be pretty extreme if they're big enough, but are they ever really big enough? <laughs> For what? No, because buckets have bottoms, and that means they can only hold as much as goes between the top and the bottom. Oh, wait, these, these guys are geniuses. <laughs> <laughs> so if we just remove the bottom of the bucket, then the amount of water the bucket can hold would be unlimited. <laughs> wow. Yep, that sounds totally correct and like the perfect plan for sure. Yep. No downsides here. So now we just need a super wealthy investor who can sponsor the manufacturing of our dream bottomless buckets for us. How do I put this delicately? 
Do you know anyone that's fucking loaded? <laughs> you check your phone. Vera would never invest <laughs> no, in this. she's too smart. Miranda, no, she's already investing in a bucket company. So <laughs> this is such an easy choice. <laughs> wow, so it would be a conflict right. of interest that leaves you between Bird and Keith. Dude, I don't fucking remember how much you guys have. <laughs> I, you guys both bought stuff. Bird is your dude. He's no, the I one haven't. who pioneered the okay, idea okay. of subway <laughs> delays and then subsequently invested in cab companies, the most perfect scheme of all time. Keith just inherited a bunch of money from a rich great uncle who he didn't even speak to until he found out that he was wealthy and terminally ill. Ethically questionable, <laughs> sure. Fiscally successful, definitely. So I'll give you a hint. One of us just spent 10 on cocaine. Okay, well, well, usually so usually all the rich kids are the ones that are buying the cocaine in all the 80s movies I watch, so... Yeah, but the, now I've got all cocaine and no money. Oh, they're a, they're, they're a fuck-up, yeah. okay? Their parents aren't yeah. giving them free money anymore. Yeah, I wish I had no co I wish I wish I had no cocaine and all money. That would... Or whatever the Simpsons kids okay, joke Homer. is. I, I don't, yeah. I don't, yeah. I don't have any co cocaine. Why don't I have lots of money? Yeah, he's a lot of money? <laughs> yes. Oh my god. Give me more fun. Get me back in the game. Yeah. Uh, uh. I think we're all in the game. We're gonna be the very best, like no one ever was. was. I said, do, that, as, do, I said that as a joke, but it was the sentence. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you are. With Bird's funding, you're able to uh, perfect the bottomless bucket. Thanks, Bird. Gone are the days of simply carrying finite amounts of water in solid containers. Yeah, that's, that's fucking lame. There's no goddamn way that this is going to work in reality. But you run a start kicker campaign, and, campaign and the pre-sales are through the roof, and that's what matters. I sure do hope we don't actually have to deliver on this fucking thing. <laughs> Nah, man, we're just gonna take people's money in advance and then split these. A bottomless bucket? That would never work. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's fine too, I guess. Hooray, you gain two fun because it's fun to trick people out of money, which is also, which you also gain plus one of, plus one money. Yeah, have you need more money? <laughs> mm hmm. Oh, only, everybody chooses an animal. It can't be oh, a Pokemon. God. Dog, dog. <laughs> no! <laughs> the okay, danger Okay, okay, no, no, no. I'll choose a, um... I want a, a, a hermit crab. I'm gonna choose a mosquito. That's a bad one. Um... Wow. Well, it might be the best answer. If you're looking for, like, the worst <laughs> animal ever, that, that, that's a pretty good one. I expect them to be like, what? Mm -hmm. Which animal would you murder? And that, that's, Basking that's shark. Me. Um, hedgehog. Hedgehog, basket mosquito, shark? basking shark, and what hermit, crab. Crab. hermit crab. They're so cute. No, basking they're sharks the... are the horrifying open maw shark. Oh, they those are. ones. Yeah, they're. I thought he was basking. Player is decided based on how cute a video where you're charming oh a cat. Oh my gosh, becomes, a hermit crab. Where a charming guys. friend becomes a uh, cat becomes friends with a selected animal. Friends with the basking Dude, shark. The, the hermit crab can <laughs> ride on crab. the back of the cat. Uh, I lose. That's one's a hedgehog, cute. and hedgehogs hedgehog. are already uh, friends with cats. And hedgehog. Stuff. Yeah. And what am I missing? What did I forget? This is a matter mosquito. of personal it's opinion. Mosquito. mosquito. But hermit crabs are much cuter than hedgehogs, in my opinion. Uh, I think I'm also I also I have bad wins. opinions, so it's okay. Yeah, the hedgehog wins. Hedgehog was bird, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. And then Stephanie with the. Oh my crab. gosh, cute. And, and I win just keep. because it's not a mosquito. <laughs> it's a, it's a, a shark, of course you win. It's a fucking mosquito. The, the shark can give the cat rides across the, the, across the ocean. Oh, they could right. surf on the shark. Yeah, it's good.